Welcome to Splango, a podcast aimed at introducing people living a plant-based lifestyle in Japan. For this episode, I interviewed Kano Sekine, currently working for a Japanese-to-English translation company in Tokyo. Even today, in 2018, veganism is still a very unknown, or at least misunderstood, concept in Japan. So when I heard that not only had Kano become vegan while being in Japan almost 10 years ago, but that along the way her parents went plant-based as well, I knew she would make a very interesting guest for the podcast. In this interview, we cover her path to veganism and focus especially on when and how her mindset changed in regards to animal products. She also talks about how her practical and social life changed as she went vegan and explains how her parent came to lead a mostly plant-based lifestyle. Then we finally end the podcast by some rapid-fire questions. This was a very interesting podcast for me as I am fascinated with what makes people, me included, act the way they do. If, like me, there is a part of what brought you to veganism now and not earlier that you cannot clearly explain, or if you simply are curious about how one Japanese managed to become, and stay, vegan in a country that barely knows what it means, I am sure you will find Kano's story interesting as well. After listening to her own interview, Kano asked me to add the following corrections and extra information to her answers, so that to avoid any misinterpretation of her story and views. When talking about the consumption of eggs and dairy, she says in the interview that she continued to eat eggs or milk until September 2009. This is not accurate. She had them until around New Year 2010. About her aunt, who she presents in the interview as being vegetarian, Kano adds, quote, My aunt, the yoga instructor, has been a health-conscious practitioner of macrobiotics and has been keeping her macrobiotic diet for ethical reasons too since I introduced her to veganism, end quote. Kano's last edition addresses the end of the interview, where she briefly talks about B12. To her words, she adds, quote, Though I gave nutritional advice, I believe some vegans are okay not to take B12 supplements. I actually haven't had any until this autumn. In East Asia, because people often eat and can digest seaweed products which contain B12, most Japanese vegans stay healthy without supplementing. For example, Japanese Buddhist monks in Zen temples have followed a plant-based diet for a long time without tablets of B12. About this added comment, remember that it is Kano's views on the matter of B12. Neither of us are health professionals, and you should always seek the advices of a qualified doctor regarding serious health matters. Lastly, before jumping into the interview, keep in mind that Kano is expressing somehow complex ideas and feelings in a foreign language. I know firsthand how challenging an exercise this can be, which is why I allowed myself to, sometimes, help her find the words or, quote, finish, unquote, her sentences, each time making sure with her that I did not misinterpret her thoughts. Without further ado, here is Kano Sekine. All right, let's start. Um, hi. Kano. Hi, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for uh, being my second guest uh, mm -hmm. for my podcast. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, so let's directly jump into... Um, I guess the first question that I'll, I'll ask my guests, uh, mm -hmm. when did you start your journey on the path to veganism? Well, it was in 2010. Okay. Um, in 2009, I watched a documentary film, which is called Our Daily Bread. Okay. Our Daily Bread. Yeah. Um, that, um, I saw it accidentally on TV. So I was so shocked after that, and a few days later, maybe I made my mind to go to to go vegetarian. Okay. And then I went vegan six months later. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was twenty ten. All right. I, you you said uh, that movie, that documentary. Uh, you watched it on television. Mm -hmm. Did it air on a Japanese channel? Oh, uh, yes. Do you know the channel Wawa? It's like a uh, cable TV cable okay. channel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's not especially like one of the major. No, unfortunately not. I think um, it was my summer holiday, and I was with my uh, my parents, and they, I think they paid for that channel. Okay. So it's not free. Really yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I see. Um, and have you before that ever? You, you maybe knew what was 
vegetarianism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And what about veganism itself? Have you had you heard about it before? Uh, actually, yes. Um, I was studying English in Australia, in Queensland. All right. Yes, and the textbook I was using had that word, you know, vegetarian. Oh, what, really? what vegan is, what vegetarian is, mm. like that. So, um, yeah, I think I knew some words, and I always wonder, not always, I wonder if vegetarians eat eggs or milk. Okay, so yeah, you didn't know so, at the time, but you yeah, kind of yeah, had a broad idea. Yeah, and I knew some celebrities who are vegetarians or vegan. Oh, uh, so just going uh, back, sorry, yeah, go ahead. I mean, I knew means like... A, yeah, you knew their, yeah, like, yeah, their, yeah. their name, you knew mm -hmm. who they were, but you yeah, didn't know the exactly, person, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you studied in Australia. How long was that? It was just eight, uh, eight weeks. Oh, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you encounter any either vegetarian or vegans over there? Or was mm. like that um, the knowledge you got like was only from the textbook? Only from the textbook. Okay. I didn't encounter anyone who is with veggies. Right. Uh, but I went to the US after that. Okay. And I saw some students who who are vegetarians or mm -hmm. vegan. All right. Um, yeah. when was that? Um, well, well, well. Um, I went to California in twenty uh, twenty eight. Oh, no, sorry, two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Yeah. yeah. So after Australia, um, yes, I went to the US as an exchange student. Yeah. And the year of the crash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I met some local students there, and they, yeah, they apparently didn't eat meat or any animal product, animal based products. Okay. So yeah. they were like vegans then. I think they, they, they were they were vegetarians. Okay. I've never but you, you didn't like really get close to any of them. You didn't like make friends that were mm -hmm. either a vegetarian. You didn't have really like either friends that were vegetarian or vegans or and and, and, and if you did, uh, did you have any conversations uh, about vegetarianism? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that. All right. And, and so you stayed over there for a year then? Mm, for eight months. No, yeah, not a year. Okay, eight months, and then you came back to Japan, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a little while later, you yes, did, was it while, like yeah, random yeah. that you showed? Did you watch that uh, documentary? Yeah, totally okay. random. Totally random. It was my senior year of my university. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, mm. um, I see, and so you. For some reason, you end up watching this documentary, mm -hmm. and what was really striking to you? What like because if you didn't really have any interest, from a, it's not about interest. Mm -hmm. I think it's more like about you. You didn't have anyone around you at the time that that had that was vegan or vegetarian, right? In Japan, mm -hmm. especially. But even when you w were in Australia or in California, mm -hmm. you didn't really interact much with people who were vegetarian or maybe even vegan. So mm -hmm. watching this documentary, what was really impactful, really meaningful for you? Well, um, I was interested in humanism at that time. Okay. So um, I have watched um, several human, human, I don't know, well, varieties of documentaries like okay. that. So when I saw that that one, our daily bread, yeah. maybe I felt the same I don't know, same feelings when mm -hmm. I watched when I watched uh, other human things. Yeah, so documentaries yeah. about like human condition so, yes, yes, and exactly. like people who are suffering mm -hmm. in other like countries and stuff like that. Yeah, that's right. And, and so that documentary, I, I haven't watched it, so okay. I don't know what it's 
focused on, but I, I suppose it's talking a lot about animals then. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I can actually show you what's behind or well, inside of the uh, farm. Okay, in the, farms, or right, in the slaughterhouses. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, it was 10 years ago, so I don't remember all of them. Yeah. But, uh, there is no a voiceover narrating. Okay. So it's so, just yeah, images? It's images, yeah. yes, and some music. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but anyway. They constantly show uh, images. All right. Yes. So very, very broad mm, images. Yeah. Then I, I, I suppose, mm. right? Hard to watch. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For okay. me, it was hard. Right. And so it was the first time you had a look at what's behind the curtains, as far as like meat products. I think so. Yes. Okay. So, uh, did, do you remember at that time before watching that? If you had ever thought about what, where the meat was coming from, like you knew it was coming from animals, right? Every, mm -hmm. Everyone knows, and I'm air quoting knows here. Um, but what, what image did you have of, of that, or where had you ever really given it any thought? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I had no idea before before I watched it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of ashamed of it. And <laughs> I mean, I don't think you. you I, I don't think shame really. I, I understand the feeling, right? I, mm -hmm. I mean, you've been vegan ten, ten times uh, longer than I've been. So, really? <laughs> so I, if anyone uh, needs to feel ashamed here, it's maybe more me. But I, I think it's it's normal. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it's it's more like if you're gaining new knowledge and you're acting about it upon it like you're seeing something you're watching that movie and and you're like oh my god and this i didn't know it i never thought about it i i can't just ignore it right and acting upon it and 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 making a change that should just like make all the shame go away because i think it's 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 something that most people don't do and it's mm -hmm. not to blame mm -hmm. the people who don't change. Mm -hmm. I think the people who don't change are, in our current society, the ones that are, and I'm air quoting again here, normal. Right. Uh, and, and I think the people who do change, they're somewhere in their life or there's something in their personality or maybe other reasons that I, hadn't, I haven't thought about yet that I don't know that makes them different than others. In, in this case, I would argue for the better. Mm -hmm. Maybe in other cases, not for the better, but in this case, I think it's not really being ashamed. Uh, well, I mean, I understand the feeling again, but yeah, I, I wouldn't, and I'm talking about this, like talking to myself as well. I wouldn't personally say that I, I feel ashamed. I, I, I don't understand personally why I didn't think seriously about it before my... 33rd or 34th year on this mm -hmm. planet um, uh, but anyways uh, so go ahead you didn't know I didn't know okay yeah. so do you remember to some extent what were you wh where are you like the meat where is it coming from you mm -hmm. it was coming from animals right that, that's yeah, sure, pretty obvious yeah, right sure. did you have any Information? Not even information, like just in your head, picture, mm -hmm. image of how it was produced, right? right? Because maybe as a kid, you see those picture books with farm animals, they're all mm -hmm. happy, they're outside, mm -hmm. and blah, 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 right? And, and when you start to connect the meat to those farm animals, maybe naturally, even without thinking about it, like in... In the back of your mind, you kind of make the connection. Okay, well, the meat comes from farm animals, and they're living happily, and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. um, was it kind of the image you had, or was it like just blurry, and you never really give it any thought? And do you re remember no, your I mindset? Don't, I don't remember at all. So maybe I didn't have anything like that. Oh. And I don't think I I had seen. Some images from child books or something. Oh, like really? That. 
So yeah. <laughs> so you don't really. I mean, it's it's been quite a few years since know, then. So you you um, don't really remember what was your mindset images. at the time. Huh. Sometimes, you know, uh, food packages have some images, yeah, like the happy animal things, you know. Maybe okay. So yeah. I see. So it it was in your case maybe, um, like for a lot of people, a, a very a disconnect between a living animal and and what you were seeing in stores or on your plates. Like food was food, mm -hmm. period, and there was not really any relationship with mm. living animals. Then I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah. That was my case. Yeah, well, I think it's the case of almost everyone mm -hmm. uh, that's eating meat, actually. Mm -hmm. Very few people, I think, are really having in mind the image as they eat it mm -hmm. of the animal they're eating. Um, all right, and so you watch that documentary, and what's really striking to you is this violence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Is it because it was really violent that you thought about stopping meat? Well, I thought it is violent, but uh, like I said, the documentary film was very, I don't know, how to, um, um, sorry, I can't explain it. Um, well, if you have a hard time with vocabulary or whatever, um, You can always say it in Japanese. Really? Uh, yeah, I can, I can <laughs> edit it or I can help you out there. No worries. I, I would have a hard time. I, I've had conversation in Japanese on this topic mm -hmm. with friends that are only speaking fluent Japanese. And I know it's not always easy to find your words in a foreign language. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it was very... Uh, okay, I, I'll, I'll use Japanese. Go ahead. It's different そういうドキュメンタリーだったから、うん、私は多分残酷だと思ったけど、見る人によっては多分全然普通。ああ、なるほどね。Yeah. I see. All right. So you you thought it was your personal interpretation was that it was very cruel. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but you think that other people, other、Maybe、individuals, they if they had a Look at the documentary. They would have just thought like, "Yeah, that's the way things are." Yes, period. It's, it's a normal、oh, thing, and、okay. some someone maybe、um, think it's very clean and nice、oh, and very I efficient. See. I see. Well, again, I haven't watched the documentary. I I might give it、uh, a look、uh, in the next few weeks just just to to understand、yeah. this better. But、um, Understood. And so you watch it, you think it's very cruel,、mm -hmm. and so it's it's the cruelty. So, like for example, imagine that if this documentary had been showing something where the animals are not treated cruelly, but they're still slaughtered at、mm -hmm. the end, right? And 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 they still die by, it, it, like it's still not I, a a peaceful life all the way to a natural death. Do you think it would have had some kind of similar impact on you, or is it like really about if if it was done basically another way to phrase this question, if it was quote unquote ethical meat,、mm -hmm. so the meat, the, the the beef, the chicken, whatever, they're living freely、mm -hmm. and they're being killed after a certain amount of time,、mm -hmm. but like without. As, as many suffering、uh, as possible, so like as painless as possible. Would you be okay with that at the time? Would do you think you would have been like, okay, well, they're still dying, but it's kind of okay? Or、mm, no, <laughs> I'd say no,、um, because as soon as they grow, they reach. Yeah. Uh, decent size. Yes, size. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they'll、it's、be all about killed. The size. Yeah. 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 They'll yeah. be killed soon. And, yeah.、Um, yeah. If you look at numbers, it's six weeks for chickens, and、mm -hmm. they're supposed、so、to be able to live. Yeah. Like I don't remember the numbers. I think it's at least eight, ten, or twelve years and, or more.、Uh, so, yeah. yeah. It's so short, and well, even though I don't know.、Um, I think killing animals or killing lives, maybe they feel、um, 
Mm, fear. Fear, okay. Of course, and I think um, not killing animals are much, much better than killing without pain. You know what I, I mean? I see, yeah. So if you have a choice, yes. you don't need to kill yeah. them. Like if it's optional, mm -hmm. then there's, for you, there's always a better thing to do than killing them. Yeah. So I, if you can be healthy without animal products, yes. there's no reason to choose animal products. Mm -hmm. Is that... Yeah, that's okay. what I mean. Okay, it, it, would, would, would you say that you got this thought in your head at the time? I don't think so. Uh, for example, the life expectancy. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, the life expectancy. Yeah. Yeah. I think I knew it. Um, I knew the fact after I read some books. Yeah. Not at the time I was I was watching this documentary. Yeah. Okay. Film. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you can't get all the information at I once. Think. Although nowadays there's more and more information mm -hmm. out there. But I see. So you're shocked by the cruelty. And yeah. that makes you stop me. How did that happen in, in as much detail as you remember? Did you like, did you, since you watched that documentary, ever, ever had meat again? Or um, did it take a little while because you were like assessing your feelings or thoughts? I took a little while, but it, it, it's, it was just one day or two days. Yeah. Like I said, I was. Uh, at your parents? Yes, or, at my yeah. parents. And my, ma my mother cooked for me. She cooked pork. Yeah. Pork. Pork, yeah. Yeah, and I I don't remember if I ate it. Okay. But I didn't, I'm sure I didn't finish it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. So, yeah, I felt very uncomfortable yeah. to eat animals since then. Yes. So I, I explained to her what... Uh, that I watched that documentary and yeah. I can't enjoy uh, eating animals anymore. And she said, okay. And oh, that's she, great. Yeah, she, she was so generous and she cooked me different things. Oh, right. Yes. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah that's actually... Uh, so, uh, for context, we, we met a, a few days ago and you, you told me that your parents, spoiler alert, uh, are vegan now mm -hmm. and I was kind of blown away uh, and, and super happy for you at the same time oh, thank you. and so uh, this is definitely something I want to get into okay. um, but I'd, I'd first like to finish this part about so after the movie maybe a couple days like kind of assessing your feelings and eating a bit of meat but then like feeling grossed out or and then vegetarian I guess yes. from that point on so still probably eggs or, or yeah. dairy and stuff like that yeah. for like, you told me six months. Mm -hmm. What was, um, what was your view, your feelings, your, your mindset being vegetarian? Did you already, when you started being vegetarian, think, knew that for you there was better than vegetarian, which was 100% plant-based? Mm -hmm. Or were you like, I'm always doing the best I, I, I think uh, I can do. And as you learn new things, you try to implement them. What, what was your knowledge, your mindset at the time? Oh, at the time. Um, hmm, sorry, can you repeat that question? <laughs> sorry, it's a long question. Yeah. So, so you just turned vegetarian, right? Yeah. And in the first few weeks, maybe, or even a couple of months, mm -hmm. uh, were you already, did you already know that being vegetarian was not, quote unquote, enough? That there was better? That even like eggs or dairy mm -hmm. had an, uh, an important impact on the welfare, on the, the well-being of animals? Or... Did you already know that? Well, um, I think I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But in that documentary, I think uh, cow for milk. I don't know how to yeah. say um, Sorry, say again. Milk cow? Milk cow, yeah. Yeah, milk cow. Uh, sorry, cow, cow milk? 
Yeah, there was an image. Yeah. There was an image of milk cows. Yeah, it's, oh, milk cows. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. dairy cows. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, so I I noticed that we um, we exploit them. Yeah. So I think I noticed, but for some reason I think it's not as cruel as eating meat. Yes. So yes. I well. continued to. Uh, have eggs or milk. I see. Until September 2009, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and, and what changed then? <laughs> well, um, I think at the end of the year, mm -hmm. I saw a um, website that shows how miserable milk cows lives. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think I googled it, so maybe I was interested in yeah, that. Yeah. 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 And and how about eggs then? Eggs, eggs. Um, I think I quit eggs at the same time that I quit uh, milk eating. All right, very. Um, I milk. see. Yes. Um, I I see. And what? And I, I'm asking a lot of details here about a, a time that's quite far in the past, <laughs> but it's really interesting to me because I don't understand it about myself really either. Maybe either. I don't know how about you, but what? What got you to look that up on Google mm -hmm. about five, six months after, oh, yeah. after the documentary yeah. and not sooner, for example? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what triggered this? If there's something like special, like something you heard or maybe read a bit or like just you, you got maybe comfortable eating vegetarian food. So you were like, okay, I'm more comfortable now. I can look this up. Mm -hmm. What was it? Yeah. I think I was trying to be vegan, but I think it was too challenging for me at All that right. time. Yes. So, so I gradually changed my um, dietary um, diet. Changed my eye so, diet. And yes. all right, so you you it was something you were working on, mm -hmm. and at some point, looking up those information on the internet, mm -hmm. like it was a of no return you saw how cruel it was mm -hmm. and there was no excuses anymore something like sure, that yes i see yeah it's, it's kind of the same for me and, and i didn't ask you about that part and especially being japanese that's going to be interesting i think to ask but what about fish what oh, fish. was your yeah when like when you went vegetarian like oh, yeah. after that documentary and all the documentaries don't talk about fish mm -hmm. right m much if at all what about fish at the time well, I remember that I quit eating fish um, in the middle of that period. Oh, okay. right. Yes. Yes. I, I saw see. I saw the documentary in July or August, All and right. then um, I quit eating uh, having eggs um, daily in at the end of the year. I see. So maybe in the middle, I yeah. I, I quit eating fish as well. I see. And there was a special reason for that, or is it again, as you told me, just mm -hmm. because it was it became convenient enough, you were able to do it? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, um, like many vegetarians think, yeah, maybe fish doesn't feel pain, pain, yeah. or they don't feel feel fear. Yeah, maybe I was thinking like that. Yeah, no, but, it's definitely yeah, yeah I can yeah. see that. So, but I think I noticed it's kind of wrong. Maybe mm, it's, mm. it's just a convenient excuse for us oh, eating yeah. fish. I see. And I remember when I buy a sushi from the supermarket. Yeah. Fish yeah. sushi. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't enjoy eating it yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. When I... When I bought it, I have some. I had my appetite, but uh, mm, when I actually eating, when I when I was eating, maybe I didn't feel pleasure anymore mm. because right. I feel guilty. I see. Yes. All right. That's the time I, that my guilty overcame my pleasure. Yeah, your guilt yes. overcame your your feeling of yes. guilt overcame yes. your pleasure. All right. Uh, very interesting. Um, I I can totally relate to that. Um, and so you, you so you got vegan about half a year after 
starting to be my vegetarian and going back to what you talked about earlier mm -hmm. so you tell your mother so that's the first person you talked to about that change mm, yes all right um and how about other uh people Family around members? you yeah um, i think i told my father as well at the same day okay so he wasn't there when you told your, your mother uh, i think he was he was there okay <laughs> Yeah, um, well, I have my uh, sister. He, mm -hmm. She was away at that time, so okay. she didn't know anything. All right. So I told my parents, uh, yeah, what I want to eat from now. <laughs> yes. I see. Mm -hmm. And um, so your mother, you told me she's very uh, reacting in a very understanding way. Yes. Uh, is your mother? Like, was she more of a plant eater than a meat eater to begin with? Or what kind of person well, um, was she or is she? She okay. was. Uh, my parents were very normal Japanese parents. Okay. <laughs> they eat every, everything. Everything, yes. yes. Sure. Omnivores? Yeah. Omnivores. Mm. Um, but actually, my sister was... Mm, she is such a picky eater. Okay. So, since she was a little, my yeah. mother had to make uh, meals for her, especially. I see. You know, I, I, see. I, yeah, I didn't have such uh, likeliness or my preference yeah. for food, but yeah. she, my sister didn't eat uh, most of the vegetables. I see. So, she always... Oh. Uh, made made something different, that's for her. Yeah, something different okay. for her so for her um that it was very yeah. easy to make vegan food for me i see <laughs> yeah because she was like already used to having one child mm -hmm. having a lot of like <laughs> special requests yeah and so more than everything related to morals ethics and and feelings it was more about taste mm -hmm. i guess mm -hmm. for your mother then yes Okay, oh. I see. And and did you get any neg negative reactions within your family circle? Well, um, I don't think so. so. No, they didn't say anything to me. Um, maybe they wonder why I am the, I'm having this uh, this diet. All right. They in never, the beginning, you in mean. the beginning, yeah. yes. For uh, yes, especially my grandparents. Yeah, yeah, that I can imagine <laughs> the grandparents. Yeah. yeah, and they think meat is very healthy, and we yeah, need proteins for meat. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they didn't say anything. Oh, any they didn't comments, say okay. any negative comments. All right, me. I see. Um, and and then. So at the time we were at your parents, and and did you? go back to university mm -hmm. uh, for like the following semester yeah. or something like that yeah. and, and, and how did your new diet impact mm. your, your life? You were maybe living alone or? Yes, I was living alone. Um, yeah, in the cafeteria of my university, they, uh, they didn't have any vegan option. Yeah, it's still very yeah, rare even now, right? <laughs> so Yeah, they have tofu or not tofu, but they always uh, bonito flakes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah, sometimes I I had that that tofu without bonito. Yeah. And sometimes I had soba noodles without yeah. noodles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. think my classmate thinks it's too yeah. challenging to yeah. be a vegan or vegetarian. So they, they asked you about it. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Um, my major was cross cultural studies, so oh, my classmates were very not very much international minded. I see. So yeah, they're into yes. differences. Yeah, so they accept my um, my choice. So they ask me questions, not because uh, they are offensive, but they are curious about me. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And 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 what kind of reactions did, did you get and, and, and like support or lack of support mm -hmm. within your closest friends maybe or uh, past that like within the 
the group of people that are like maybe just a, acquaintances mm -hmm. like not friends but you know them like classmates that you just see at university mm -hmm. did you get any special support or like people who are really like wanting to think about it with you or was it like really stopping at questions and then nothing else hmm. well i'd say they were not too so, not so supportive but mm -hmm. um i was in my graduation oh. seminar class and we uh we were so close not so close we were close and we sometimes went for lunch or dinner together yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um so um when my classmate Mm, made an appointment for yeah. reservation for a restaurant. Maybe mm -hmm. they they have to they have to explain my diet in and out. Oh. One of them, one of one of my classmates have to did it, but doesn't eat this, this, this. Okay, this, yeah, I this. see. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, but they were so helpful about that. Supportive. All right. I see. Um, That's good. Yeah. And uh, yes. Uh, Sometimes my other professor came joined joined to this mm -hmm. dinner thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he is American, so he is oh, okay, okay to be. Uh, I'm sorry. No, he he is familiar with vegans. Vegan, yeah. vegans. Yeah. So um, yeah, when he knows I started a vegan diet, mm -hmm. he was. He is he's a vegan eater, but um, he also chose a vegan course at one restaurant. Oh, that's great! Yeah, with me, yes. so uh, yeah, that nice. was that was too sweet, so sweet. I felt so. Everyone in my university around me were so supportive. Okay, okay, but so you 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 got you you didn't get a hundred percent support, but you got like enough support mm -hmm. so that it was. It wasn't too hard to, to no, live no. socially. Socially. Like, they mean they were, like, accommodating, so you could mm -hmm. still be with people uh, for, like, social events. Yeah. But, and they would, like, most of the time, try to accommodate your diet. But, and, and so you wouldn't get, like, just rejection. Like, maybe happens more often than not in in Japan uh, about that but you you did you get any close friend or someone you were like more yeah in, intimate with like to really understand you and and try to be at least vegetarian or eat less meat or someone told you oh I hadn't thought about this can I watch the video or mm. like really something along those lines did you get any of those kind of experiences mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have such friends, but my parents were interested in that. Yes. yes. So how how that how did that happen? <laughs> well, um, apparently, um, okay. Um, when I started being vegetarian, yeah, uh, I saw many animal products, many best products in my parents' fridge. You know? Okay. So I I I told them. It's very uh, uncomfortable for me, so why don't oh. you too? So I vegan diet, oh, vegetarian right. diet, and they are health conscious. So yeah, they they accepted my comments, mm -hmm. but they didn't go vegetarian. Uh, you know, they became a uh, semi semi vegetarian. Okay? Yeah, it's like. I think uh, the yeah, flexitarian is the right yes. word here. Yes. Okay, but uh, just wait, wait a second here because mm -hmm. this is hard for me to to imagine. Like you're you're telling your parents, listen, I'm not comfortable mm -hmm. with all those meat products, animal products in the fridge. Can we get rid of them? And they're like, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Kind of reaction. <laughs> you didn't get any kind of like, no way. I mean, what? Because I I would. Imagine if I ask that of my family members whenever I'm visit them, visiting them or whatever. I, I don't think it would work. Uh, so it, it's interesting to me to, to hear this. <laughs> How did that turn out? Mm, well, uh, in my family, my mother is 
in charge of making food. Of so, course, <laughs> yes. My father, Japanese style. Just, yes. Um, my father eats whatever she cooked. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my mother is very easygoing. Oh. Uh, 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 so, um, yeah, she sometimes eat, eats fish, sashimi sometimes. Oh, all right. But um, even now, you mean? Even now, okay. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> maybe she is. But you don't know, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But in front of me, they are All right. vegans. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think my mother was very uh, helpful to, you know, she supported, she supported me uh, to keep being a vegan or vegetarian. So um, she bought maybe uh, a vegan food. Oh. Yeah. Well, food like yeah. by that you mean like vegan food like in food that's labeled vegan or food mm. that's just not animal products? Um, not, not just animal okay. products. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. So like yeah, 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 vegetables and, so, and other yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So the percentage of the food inside of half fish is you know gradually more more, more plant based. More, yeah. Okay, yeah, I very, see. Very vegan. Very at vegan. that time. All right. So nice. yeah, so it was natural to cook vegan food or even vegetarian food for my father too all right even though i, I wasn't there okay and and so do you do you think or do you know they're they they kept that those diet habits even when you were not around mm. and like are they mostly now if not because you told me they're vegan so i imagine that they would like be uh 100 plant-based Mm -hmm. basically all the time right and is that the case or is it more like they're 99% vegan or something like that and they're still like flexitarians mm, yeah I think the latter okay yes. I see so this brings my, my second question um, because I also tried to reach out to my family members okay. and since I came to veganism uh, probably like you through um, the ethical aspect of things more than anything else um, this is the first thing that I try to explain to express to get people to understand and so my question here is like did you try to reach out to your parents about that mm, yeah. facts the, the, the ethical points of view too and if you did what was your reaction because if there were okay to already, your mother was okay to already eat more and more plant-based stuff. Mm -hmm. But you tell me like she's still probably flexitarian, mm -hmm. uh, mostly, mostly vegan, but sometimes, you know, one or two exceptions. Maybe she's not uh, seeing things the same way mm -hmm. you are. And how did that happen? Did oh. you have conversation with her or try to show her documentaries? I think I did. Um, I think I explained a little bit about animals. Um, uh, at that time, uh, the during the period, yes, my transformation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I read some books. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one was, uh, I think, Peter Singer's yes, Animal, Animal Liberation. Liberation. Of yes, course. of course. Um, Maybe similar books. Um, I see. Yes. Yeah. So I recommended her to read it, but um, she didn't. I see. <laughs> so I explained what's in it. Yeah. You know. yeah, yeah. There's a Japanese version, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. So you can read in yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did I did same to my father. Mm -hmm. I think he, he read the books, I think. Okay. Peter Singer's book. All right. And yeah, and later um, I also recommended them to read Jonathan Safran Paul's Animal Eating Animals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've heard about a, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good book, and uh, it's very easy to read, you know, compared to Peter Singer's. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's, Singer was jumping to yeah. Yes. So both of them read the book and. And I think there is a um, comic book that shows 
the situation of okay. the animals. You might have seen some some excerpts of it in, in Japanese then. In Japanese. Okay. Kind of a manga. Yeah, manga. Okay, yeah, okay. I think I bought it online um, when I was shopping at Green Vegetables. Is that the name of the shop? Okay. Yes. Sure. They, yeah, they, anyway, they sold it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I show I show that uh, comic book to my sister, mm -hmm. and she also said um, she can compassionate with animals. Mm -hmm. They are very miserable. Yeah, but she didn't uh, change the heart. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, um, yeah, my family, family, my parents, sister, and even aunts and. Mm -hmm. uh, cousins, they I uh, I share my collection of my books, oh, books so, etc. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so ideally, you would have loved for them to uh, at least have a a clear discussion with you about why they wouldn't be agreeing. But ideally, it's like, oh, sure, this makes all sense. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, right? Mm -hmm. I, I suppose that's the best case scenario yeah. right so but at, even if that didn't happen whenever you go back home you know that there's there's no challenging uh dinner situation mm -hmm. yes i see i see yeah. okay. so, so there's like you 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 would say that you're the only one that's really like kind of let's say a hundred percent vegan in in your family then mm -hmm. yeah okay i think it took uh, three years mm -hmm. until my parents to to go ve vegan vegetarian mm. since I since I started to try to uh, advocate. Okay, so until then they were doing plant based when you when you you came back home. Yes, but apart from that, they would like eat as usual. As usual. Yeah, I guess. but now they're like way more plant-based like if not yeah. almost 100 percent most of the yeah. time at their house they are 100 percent oh, vegan okay. i think so they're socially flexitarian mm, maybe okay yes. okay I for see. example you can get omiyage yes yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah no no it's very hard in japan to not get <laughs> yeah, any maybe, animal products yeah. in yeah. yeah i can say no but maybe my parents don't say no yeah i see so they friends. eat it uh, etc yes. yeah yeah whatever they get as yeah. presents yeah. yeah omiyage is like a souvenir mm. present um i see and, and so I wanted to know more in depth about mm -hmm. um, your parents' diet also and then anyone else in your family, uh, if, if they started a plant-based diet, did you get, got like, was there any feedback from them about health, for oh, example? Okay. Did, they, did they tell you they felt better eating? A plant-based diet? Did you get anything about that from them? Oh, yeah. I think they get they got. Uh, I think my mom mentions about her weight of the fat. They um, where they took medical check. Yeah. And you were medical yes, check. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh. All of the lates, almost all of the lates were getting better. Yeah. Yeah. So they would get like healthier results healthier, for the health yes, check? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, she was so happy about that. Um, my father as well. Um, he likes he likes uh, swimming and jogging. I see. Yeah, he is so healthy. Uh, before, uh, before before he went vegan or vegetarian, maybe he was healthy. But yeah. after that, maybe he became he became healthier. Yeah, he said so. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because I, I in my experience, since I, I was also very focused on health mm -hmm. and and an active lifestyle before being vegan, I yeah. didn't get uh, a lot of direct. Uh, differences as far as like how I felt eating 100% plant-based compared to before. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like super much more energized, mm -hmm. so it was more subtle. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm curious, like 
if your father was already active, uh, the medical checks mm -hmm. will yeah. definitely show results, yes. but maybe it didn't feel that different mm -hmm. immediately. But it's great uh, to know that they got better results yeah. for the health check. Yeah. And I think um, they look much happier, you know, uh, since they went vegetarian or vegan. Um, Why is that? Um, maybe, I think psychologically, they feel... They feel better. Yeah, feel better, feel satisfied. Yeah. More in line with what they probably feel is right mm -hmm. to do? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that helps a lot. I I totally agree with that and I, I can, I can uh, understand how that mm -hmm. feels. All right, that's great. Um, so... That's been like 10 years of veganism, about 10 years of veganism for you. Mm -hmm. And during those 10 years, so at first you told me the first six months were uh, a transition towards veganism because it wasn't easy for you to change everything all at once. And mm -hmm. did you, what was the most challenging? Like what was your lifestyle, your diet lifestyle? Uh, your eating habits before becoming vegetarian slash vegan, before watching the documentary when you were living alone? Mm -hmm. And how did that change the first six months? How were you eating in, in Tokyo? Mm. Well, I was in Yokohama. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I like cooking at home. Okay. So I liked cooking at home. So um, it, was, it was very easy to uh, change my diet. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I brought a lunchbox to my university. Yeah. And you know, I sometimes share my shared my food to my classmates, and I they see. liked it. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I didn't feel uh, challenge. Ch challenge. I, I didn't see. feel it challenging. But you still like had a hard time. You, you told me it was difficult, oh, yes. like to be totally plant based, right? Mm. So you still had dairy and eggs, oh, yes, for example, yes. right? I think so. Um, yeah, I think it was my fault. <laughs> I was lazy to find vegan products. I see, like cookies, you know, vegan cookies. Oh chocolates. yeah, no, that's tr yeah, no, totally. Like finding those is difficult. Yes. And yes. I hope uh, these vegan products are uh, more expensive than yeah. the normal things. Yes, you know? yes. I, I just had a look at the. Well, the shop here is organic too, mm. but the prices, yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. Mm. Um, I see. And and were there any changes within the first year or maybe the first couple of years regarding living a, a plant-based lifestyle, like a, a vegan uh, lifestyle and diet? Um, were there any changes as far as like how challenging or easy it was for you, like not only cooking at home, but everything else related to food? Or did it stay basically the same after you, the first six months you got used to it and it kind of streamlined from there? Well, I think the things were getting much easier and easier. easier. Mm -hmm. Maybe I go, I Google many things and uh, I got many information about to, recipes, etc. About recipes yeah. and what to what to buy things, mm -hmm. vegan products. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't know anybody, uh, any vegan friends. I see. At that time, I so I searched everything alone. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe oh. online. I see. Yeah. All right. So it got better, and like throughout the first year, and then you you got your. Mm -hmm. Like kind of routine settled in. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, talking about friend, that's actually the next question on the list here. And mm -hmm. so you didn't know anyone around you that no. was vegetarian or vegan. Uh, actually, my aunt is a yoga teacher. So oh. she, her diet is vegetarian, vegetarian kind of. Yeah. Not hundred yeah. percent vegetarian. Yes. I see. At the time already. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did did you? talk with her about those kind of things uh, uh, at the yeah. time as well? Yeah, I think I did. And 
I think my mom, mother talked to her as well. Okay. So she could get some information. Ah, that's great. Yes. So I, yeah. I can see better how, you know, because when you don't have anyone around you that's eating mostly plants and you think you've been told your whole life that without animal products, it's either very hard or, mm -hmm. or even maybe impossible to be healthy. Mm -hmm. It's it's really like if it's your own child, you might be worried, right? Mm -hmm. But if you have already like your sister or your uh, sister-in-law that's uh, healthy mm -hmm. uh, and 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 mostly based on plants, it it's definitely helping, right? Yes. It's probably helped there. Yeah. Um, so you had your aunt in your family that was veg mostly mm -hmm. vegetarian, um, but then you didn't have really any friends then. Like, right, no, the I see. And how, when did that change? Because obviously now you have probably quite a few uh, uh, vegan or vegetarian friends. Oh, I think when? Maybe the, mm, I think it was the time I passed Join the meetup, vegan meetup. Okay, when was that? Do you remember? 2015. Okay, so you went to the first vegan meetup mm -hmm. in 2015. 15. All right, correct. that was probably at the Pink Cow then in Opongi? Um, no, I, it was in Hop Goblin. Oh, Hop Goblin? Yeah, 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 I, I know that yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. All right, and um, so that was quite a few years then after. You became vegan for all that time, so you had no one really no close one, to you, no. but your aunt mm. that you were probably not meeting that often, and and that wasn't vegan. Mm. So, all right, that's a long time. I didn't know that, but anything about this meetup I see. group. <laughs> true, true, true. And how about social media or like Facebook? For example, I found out about that through Facebook. Oh, really? For example, right? I tagged Tokyo Vegan on Facebook, and there were groups, and I looked at post in those groups for maybe a couple of months or three months before trying to join anything. Mm -hmm. So that's me, but it, it was later in 2015. Did you um, come into contact or like got information about communities of, of uh, plant-based people in Tokyo before 2015? No. no. Okay. Never. So what, <laughs> what happened then? How did you oh. find out? I think I accidentally found it, maybe on Facebook or something. Okay. Somewhere. All right. Uh, and how was that? How was the... Yeah, that was fun. Um, well, um, I think it's very good because um, I was a vegan at that time already, but I, knew, I met someone who is thinking to go vegan or not. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think I could talk to them and maybe I could give some advice like this. Yes. You know, yeah. My experience yeah. because uh, vegan is still, vegans are still there in Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, in Tokyo and like um, in Japan even more so. Even more. Yeah. And especially Japanese person. Exactly. You know. And, and so you're... Meeting uh, a lot of vegans, and so you the first time you, you meet someone who's like not sure being vegan, and what did that lead to? Did you have interesting conversation with different people, and did you feel like you, you could have a, an impact there? Yeah, um, actually, I got many questions from them, mm -hmm. for example. Um, Wow, you are vegan in Tokyo. What do you eat? How to survive? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So, yeah. So I didn't. Um, I didn't try to try to veganize them. Okay. But they were so curious about the uh, vegan lifestyle, mm -hmm. so I yes. naturally told them how it is. All right. In my case, I see. Um, that's great. And did you, from there on, attend frequently the meetups? Mm, not frequently, but maybe 
once two months or three months. Okay, I see. Um, and and did you start like maybe making friends or was it only like you go to the event you there's maybe foods that are interesting to try and like people that you can like talk with it's interesting but then you go back mm -hmm. uh, to your uh, lifestyle where you don't especially connect a lot with with people over there you don't really make friends right away or um I think I made friends there and Mm, but mostly online on Facebook. Oh, I or, see. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And and how did that impact your? How did you feel it impact your quality of life, starting to interact yeah. with other vegans? Well, I think it's definitely uh, good because <laughs> mm -hmm. I felt I felt mm, not so alone. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, yeah, um, it was very, I don't know, well, joining Meetup is very fun. Yes. <laughs> and I could get um, information that mm -hmm. very, uh, new restaurants were open yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it changed my life, I think. That's great. Mm. Okay. And um, speaking of, of restaurants, um, and so you, you told me you would cook a lot at home, right? So you weren't yes. like the kind of person who eats out a lot when you started being vegetarian and vegan. And, and, and that probably lasted a, a while. Are you, uh, did you try already at the time uh, eating out, like in vegan places, vegan restaurants, were there all, already some vegan restaurants like back in 2010-ish? Mm. Um, no, I didn't know any vegan restaurants, but I knew a, a website of the Happy Cow. Yeah. So, Happy Cow. Yeah, Happy Cow. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And so you used that and there were like already some options yeah. in Tokyo? I think so, yeah, because there are many Indian restaurants. Oh, so Indian restaurants, they, they you can manage vegan, yeah. their vegan things. Um, yeah, although they often have dairy in their products as well, so vegetarians have a very easy time over there, but being in vegan, Indians. like vegan, res vegan Indian restaurants, like if you go to places like Nataraj, mm -hmm. uh, you know they have options for you, but if you don't, like it's hard to get a naan, for example, mm -hmm. because it's going to be better, etc., mm -hmm. right? But okay, so you, you had those options yes. and did you, because it definitely changed, right? I mean, I've been vegan only a year, I can only see some differences, although I, I don't know how to quantify them, but mm -hmm. talking to Nadia or others, like, it definitely changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And how much did it change from your point of view and in what way? Yeah. What do you mean? How, how did the Tokyo how, vegan friendliness, if you will, mm -hmm. how much... Like Tokyo became more vegan friendly. It's yeah. easier to be vegan in Tokyo yeah. now than it was like eight, ten years ago, right? Uh, yeah. and how did it change? And 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 looking back, what changed the most from your point of view? Well, um, first of all, I wasn't living in Tokyo. Um, oh, yeah, Yokohama. Since, you know, yeah, Yokohama or my hometown is Chiba. Yeah. So. Um, but I was very curious about being in the restaurants and, uh, you know, grocery, grocery shops like this. Yes. So when I, yeah, when I have had a chance to visit Tokyo, I always check the uh, vegan restaurants or mm -hmm. something like that. All right. And also I was trying to uh, see somebody, uh, my friends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes no non-vegan friends too. Non-vegan friends, yeah. yeah. So we sometimes have dinner or lunch, uh, uh, vegan friendly place, okay. places. Um, I think um, I think nowadays many restaurants 
have a bidding option, it's not so many, but mm -hmm. some ramen shops, right. they have vegan ramen. And I think it's very, now it's very easy, not very, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely becoming easier. Yes, so there's more options. Mm, more options. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you personally eating out regularly or is it like more uh, something that doesn't happen often? Um, I don't go, uh, well, maybe once or twice a week mm -hmm. yeah, with friends. I see. I see. And are you going mainly to vegan places or is it like there are vegan options but your friends eat something else or? Oh, I don't decide where to go. <laughs> okay. But since I'm living in Shinjuku, mm -hmm. uh, there are many uh, vegan friendly restaurants yes. around my house yeah. and okay. around my uh, work. So there are many options. So um, I, yeah, I always ask my friends, of, uh, people who is coming to the mm -hmm. dinner. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so you, yes. you ask them for like yes. a place where you can eat something at yeah. least. Okay. I see. All right, um, just switching gears here and, and going back to uh, something more general. Um, what is for you the most positive thing that, not really that happened, but the most positive thing about being vegan? And it can be how you feel about it today, but it all, can also be how you remember you felt about it when it was like the first few months or the first year? What is the most positive thing? Well, I think um, I can enjoy eating without guilty. That is the most important thing for me. Mm -hmm. So you but just like to, to uh, go further there, you, before watching the documentary, you wouldn't especially feel guilty, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so, I mean, I understand your, what you're saying, right? I, I feel the same way, I think. I think I do. But um, the way you feel about food changed. Okay. That's right. Well, um, before I went vegetarian, I mm -hmm. knew, uh, I thought like this, it's necessary to kill animals mm -hmm. for food. For yes. But, I didn't want to do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't want to, but we had to. Yes. I thought like that. Yes, okay. But, you know, when I noticed that the um, plant-based diet is as healthy, uh, healthier, you know. Yes, if they're they, properly, they, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah, if they do it properly. And I think it's realistic to conduct vegan diet here in Tokyo or Japan. Okay. So um, after I noticed that, uh, after I noticed that I don't need to kill animals mm -hmm. for food anymore, there was no guilty anymore. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so everything was like... Everything was... How do you say that? More, everything was only positive, yes. and then there wasn't like I don't like this idea. I don't like this part of of what we're doing to animals, even if I don't know the details of it yet. Mm -hmm. But before watching the documentary, maybe you were like, I don't like this part. I'm not thinking about it much. But if I think yeah, about it, I don't like it. Not. But I'm like, what well, shogunai, right? Mm -hmm. Like they say in Japan, like <laughs> there's no way around it. You have to do it. it. That's the way things are. And and since you realize that wasn't the case. You're happier about yes. about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a bit maybe it's the same way what you told me about your uh, parents. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So being being happier, I, I think I, I totally agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. So that's the most uh, positive thing for you there. And is there something um, that you can label as being the most negative hmm. thing related to? changing uh, your point of view on all of that? Mm. Well, vegans are still rare here in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So, 
sometimes when I meet new people yep. and I introduce myself uh, vegan, mm -hmm. maybe they feel uh, that aspect is too special. Special? Not special. Extreme? Extreme? Stand out? Stand out? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing stands out at the first. Yeah, yeah, so time. you're not you're not so doing they, like everyone else. You mm, should be yeah, doing like everyone yeah. else, something like that. So, yes. Maybe you can imagine um, if you say, um, uh, if you are a hope foreigner, maybe that aspect stands out and they don't look at you. Yeah, yeah no, I can do whatever I no. want here, basically. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. You know what I mean? Yes. I think yeah, but if is... you're Japanese, it's very different, right? Mm. Yeah. I said, so that's a negative thing, negative like in things. a social yeah, yeah, context? Yeah. Sometimes people think I'm so stubborn about my mm. opinion. I see, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Think we, I think vegans and vegetarians are so flexible to change our diets, you know. Yeah. But they think, uh, they think we are so stubborn. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 definitely cha more challenging here than in other places in the world. Um, but hopefully, it's it's getting better, and and the Olympics is definitely going to move things forward. Yeah. Uh, in in a lot of ways, hopefully, mostly positive. Re like in regards with being vegan here. Uh, all right. Well, uh, it's been almost an hour, and mm -hmm. rather than jumping into another topic, I I think it's a good idea to just have a few rapid fire questions like sure. very short questions yeah. um so what motivates you uh and, and we didn't talk about your career at all uh etc so no need to really get into details here but is there something that's really motivating for you uh when you get up every day like you feel it's the main reason why you want to go forward like it can be a project it can be related to veganism it can be Totally different mm. than veganism. Is there something special? Something special? Um, well, um, as a translator, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to contribute uh, hmm. I don't know, maybe I can do some uh, do something special, different? Mm -hmm. in, in what field you mean? Like yeah. translating what kind of uh, well, material? Um, for example, there are many cooking shows. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, last week, last week I saw one of the uh, young chef show. Uh, she is Rachel Ku, who do you know? Rachel Ku, uh, a no, British I'm, I'm... chef. I'm totally not watching okay, TV. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's on NHK and she right. says, uh, I'm a flexitarian and mm -hmm. I'm cooking uh, vegetarian food today, mm -hmm. something like that. All right. But, um, when, I looked up, uh, when I looked up the translation, uh, it was like this. Uh, I like vegetable very much, so I, I'm going to cook some vegetable dishes today. I see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think it's very, very different. Yeah, it's it, totally is. it is. Different. So, if I translate that sentences, maybe I could do better, okay, much better. You know. So maybe um, contributing to raising awareness mm -hmm. in the general public through media that yes. like translation yeah. and and such things. Yes, I that's see. right. Yeah. Even the word vegan. Oh, we totally. Say, we say uh, in Japanese. Maybe we sometimes we say vegan, but most of the time they still use kanzen, saishu, shigisha, or something. Like yeah, that. well, I mean, at least the the as a foreigner who speaks and and reads Japanese, I'm and then you probably have another opinion on this, but using kanzen, saishu, shigisha is okay. And to me, you know what it means. Even if you don't know what okay. veganism is, because you're like kanzen, I get that it's like perfect or like, mm -hmm. and then you have saishoku eating plants, mm -hmm. and then you have 
Shugiism, and then Sha people. Okay, it's someone who eats only plants. So if on top of that they ask you if you're eating eggs, you're like, does an egg look like a vegetable to you? Right. But if you're saying like you're vegan, you know, if I'm in a restaurant and 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 I'm I'm a bit worried the people like the staff is doesn't know the word vegan, mm-hmm. I'm gonna use Kanzen Sai Shugi Sha oh, really? or something mm-hmm. like that because like or maybe I'm going to explain, right? I'm vegan, and that means I'm going to get egg, dairy, and, and meat, and fish, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but I, I agree with you. Like, having more awareness is definitely positive. Yes. Like, yeah. period. Mm-hmm. Um, next question, then. Um, okay. How do you see the future of the veganism in general? Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have to be 100% veganism, but, like, the... It could also be like from the angle of animal rights. Uh, how do you see the future of, of those things in Japan uh, in the next two, five, ten years? Mm-hmm. Your choice. Well, I assume Japan will be like EU or America. I think um, low rise. Mm-hmm. For example, in EU, in EU um, I think government suggests every restaurant have at least one vegan option. Oh, is that a law? Not a law, it is just suggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the options are going to be yeah, more yeah. general? Mm-hmm. General yeah. and about animal testing. Animal testing? Animal testing. Yeah. In Japan, we don't have a strong role low right now yes so uh maybe in five years or ten years later maybe we'll have we achieve that strict uh animal rights goal all right so we're i see Uh, what else i think globalization affects um yeah, for example, you, you said Olympic Games. Yeah, Olympic that's why I say yes. two years. Yeah, two years. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get crazy mm. here. Yeah, I think global, globalization helps uh, to veganize this country yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah you, you've seen the... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's going to be a big boost. Yeah. yeah, you already probably saw that. Well, maybe not, but uh, Tea Tantan's Ramen, that's vegan ramen shop mm-hmm. there. They're opening a restaurant in Narita Airport. Really? I yeah, know they are. Oh, they it's are. very close to my hometown. Yeah, I, I already there. know there's uh, Haneda. Uh, Haneda Airport has vegan options. I've, I've never went to one of those because usually I don't eat before taking the plane, but um, Narita didn't have much, if at all, vegan mm-hmm. options. Uh, so that's definitely a good news. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's related to the the Olympics being in a very short time and and preparing for that. All right. Um, Is there something you are convinced is true? So you know it's true. There's no way it's not true. But almost everyone but yourself don't agree with you. Um, Good question. (laughs) <laughs> uh, is it about vegan related things? Whatever. It Whatever. Can be, it can be anything you want. Anything. Yes. <laughs> Let's go wild. Well, um, you know what? There is a cooking school here. Inside. What, what? Inside. A there school? is a cooking school. Yes. A cooking a, school. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, I went there. It's a macrobiotic cooking school. Oh. Okay. So I learned something about macrobiotic. All right. Like, um, it's like Chinese medicine stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard a bit so, about it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I try, um, I try to uh, adapt their rules, mm-hmm. and I think um, cold things, cold food, make your body cold. And oh. Pop- and hot stuff make your body cold. Ah, uh, sorry, hot. All right. But uh, <laughs> every time, almost every time I talk about this, uh, my friends don't believe me. Hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I see. 
Yeah. Uh, interesting how I'll definitely keep that in mind uh, for uh, one of our next conversations if, if I want to know more about it. I'm, I'm, I'm eating a lot of non warmed up or non cooked food and raw food. Uh, there's a lot of raw, but like my sweet potatoes are steamed and but they're cold and then I put them in salads or whatever. And as you can see, it's November, I'm still in shorts and t-shirts, so yeah, maybe I'm my... Think. I'm wearing a coat. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Ah, uh, so impressive. Me... <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to stay in shorts for a long time, that's my style, but the t-shirt is going to get longer if it really gets under 10 degrees. Um, all right, so is there anything you're curious about right now? Right now? Well, uh, yes, there are many things actually. <laughs> okay, so if you had to pick one, like for example, right. if you have a bit of free time uh, during a day and, and you're having enough energy to maybe look into something, there's something you're curious about, you're gonna, mm -hmm. what are you gonna look for? Well, um, well I, I go to. Um, I go to a translation school. Yeah. And it's been very busy, but recently, uh, one of the school has been done, has been done. So I graduated. Okay. So I have much time. Um, so um, I'm thinking to go abroad once again and oh, right. study study translation or mm -hmm. so in an else? English I see yes, yes. in an English speaking country yeah okay yeah. so like for a, a short amount of time a longer amount of time well actually I'm thinking to take uh, MA I see so that would be degree. what a couple of years a couple of years or one year in the UK I say okay yeah I see so yeah I'm thinking about it and I'm so excited that's cool. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Um, all right. Maybe make this the last one because okay. everyone wants to know what are your top three eating out places in Tokyo? Ah, uh, in Tokyo. Um, or in like well, in Yukama is fine. Yeah. How about in Shinjuku? Sure. Because sure. Because I knew. I'll, yeah. Um, top three. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, have you ever been to Eyes of Ripple? Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, I have the card. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been lately, though. Uh, but yeah, I, I I have the card and mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Eyes of Journey as well. Uh, yeah, I like both, but I think the burgers were so good. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, and well, there is a pizzeria uh, near here, 800 degrees. Hmm. They have vegan pizza. All you right, can, you can that's interesting. You right. can customize your pizzas with uh, vegan cheese and vegan oh. ham. All right, I know where I need to yeah, to go next uh, time. Yeah, I recommend it because um, I I had vegan pizzas in Italy, but I think uh, pizzas from the, that place, 800, 800 degrees, maybe. They, they do better. Oh, right. It's good to know. <laughs> Sorry for Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, the, only time, the only time in my life I, I went to Italy was five days in Rome and I wasn't vegan at all, so I ate everything <laughs> and it but was I great. Think Italian is uh, vegan friendly, I think. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. But I mean, if you're not vegan, you have even more options. And I wasn't aware of it at the time, of a lot of things, and so I, I could enjoy it <laughs> in that way. So. Um, I don't know about their vegan pizzas, but the best pizzas I had mm. were in Italy, mm. uh, in one small place. Uh, anyways, um, third yeah, place. the last one? Okay. Um, well, this place has a variety of vegan desserts. Okay. Uh, it's called uh, Wild Bombo. Wild Bombo. Wild Bombo. It's All in right. Lumine. One? Lumine. Okay. Uh, um, so, Shinjuku Station? Shinjuku Station, yes. Yeah, I've, I've seen posts about it in on Facebook, and I screenshotted it, and I've never been there. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. They have uh, crepes and sundaes and roll cakes. 
All right. I think you'd like that the uh, the uh, chocolate roll cake, roll mm -hmm. chocolate cake. Yeah, they have almost everything. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's like a vegan dessert paradise. Oh, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. cool. Um, all right, so that was the kind of last question, but not really because I'd like to just um, ask you if you have any kind of advice, recommendations, or like last word for uh, our audience, people listening mm -hmm. to us. And also, like, should anyone listening to us want to ask you some advice or some question mm -hmm. uh, related to what we talked about today, or maybe even translation, even though we didn't talk about it for a long time? Um, if it's okay for them like to reach out to you in one way or another yes. and, and how can they do that? Well, um, I have um, I have my Facebook account. Okay, <laughs> so, sure. And um, my name is very unusual, so... It is. Yeah, they, they can find me very, very easily. Yeah. Okay, my name is Kano Sekine. Yeah, yes. K-A-N-O-S-E-K-I-N-E. -E. So... Yeah, if you give me a friendly request, maybe uh, yeah, I'll give you back okay. as soon as possible. Sure, sure. I, I, I hope this is not, it's not gonna end up like being, you're not gonna end up like having hundreds of requests if ever this podcast <laughs> gets very like successful, but mm -hmm. there you go. Um, okay, and, and so do you have anything like last words you want to add or? Well, um, I'd like to say to, uh, I'd like to tell this, especially for Japanese vegans, mm -hmm. about uh, nutrition. Sure. B12. Okay. I didn't know this uh, since my one of my friends told me. See, si. yeah, I should have, I should yeah. have asked you about yeah. that actually. Yeah. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, for example, um, maybe in Europe. Uh, every soya milk has uh, B12, right? Uh, is it added. reinforced in B12? I don't know actually, it's, but maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah, many vegan products were added B12. Yeah. But in Japan, I think in, I don't see many. So um, if you go, if you go vegan, maybe you should notice that. Uh, you should try to take a B B12 supplements, yeah. Supplements or uh, nutritional yeast. Yeah, nutritional yeast. Okay, I recommend that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah or... it's very delicious. It's good. Yeah, it has che cheesy flavor. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I like it. All right, great. That's yeah. a very good piece of advice. And actually, I should add this in my list of questions. Talking about supplementation, uh, definitely. Well, thank you thank again you very much. for. Uh, being on the, the show mm -hmm. and uh, until next time. Yeah, until next time. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Bye. Wait. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Ciplengo podcast. Ciplengo is also on Instagram and Facebook at C I P L A N T G O. There you can have a look at the latest things going on in my plant based life in Japan. There is also an email address, ciplengo at gmail.com. Feel free to send me a message, whether it's to ask a question. Give me suggestions for C-Plan Go or anything else. Have a great rest of the day and until next time.